Christmas, everyone. We are now in the season of Advent, and today I want to share with you a short message about hope, and we find in 1 Peter 1.3 a great message. And it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his, not ours, but his abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It's a great message. Nobody other than Peter could know this more. Peter, who denied the Lord three times, found himself on the other side of the resurrection, fishing down, felt like a failure, and yet he heard a voice from the shore saying, cast your net on the other side. It was the Lord. Peter jumps in the water and comes to the Lord, and they have a fire um, side chat, and they begin to discuss um, the purpose that God had for Peter. He said, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Peter knew he couldn't do this because he felt like, I failed you before. I told you I would go to the ends of the earth, and I couldn't do that. But the Lord said, feed my sheep. You'll be fine. And he said, your will be done. It is your will. I'll do what you want, Lord. He surrendered unto God, and he found himself in the abundant mercy of the Lord, and he found himself with a living hope. You know, you and I are living in the day when there's so many things in our lives that we feel like we failed, but the cross dealt with it. And once on the other side, when we find that forgiveness in the cross, we live on the other side in God's purpose and God's plan in God's resurrected power. And I want you to know today, don't allow your past to steal or take from your future. Grasp hold of what God has for you. Have that living hope, that spiritual life that God's called you to. And may God bless you this Christmas season.